It's funny, isn't it, with TV hosts and celebrities. Seemingly, they are paid millions and millions of pounds by these major networks, but also like to dictate and tell us exactly their thoughts and what we should be doing. You know the sort I mean. And it's fascinating also because when their career, shall we say, is possibly not at their best, they should have learned, but seemingly not. Over in the United States recently, a chat show host was over here in the United Kingdom covering the coronation for his major network. It didn't exactly work out too well, and now his latest, shall we say, missive has gone down even worse. As ever, let me explain. Sean here, nice to see you. Hope you're well today, whatever you're doing. And as I often say, keep fine and dandy. It's true, we always have to have a bit of a laugh, don't we? It's what makes the world go round, you know. This story actually did make me giggle because as I say, you know, I've worked in this industry many years. I've seen people paid millions of pounds and dollars and all sorts of stuff. And really you kind of think, wow, how did they get that role? This could be said of the CNN host, Anderson Cooper. Earlier this year, we saw him sit down with the former royal known as the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry. Interesting, wasn't it, that particular chat for 60 minutes? Didn't go down well. It wasn't the biggest rating of the bunch. But then again, when you think about it, it wasn't particularly invigorating also. But then Anderson came over here last week to cover the coronation. And according to sources, he was that bad about the history of the British monarchy and certain things that he decided to reveal to the audience that the co-hosts had to talk over him, as you can imagine. Didn't go down particularly well. Now he's infuriated his bosses even further at CNN. You see, earlier this week, uh, the channel sat down with the former president, the 45th president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Now, as you can imagine, rather controversial chat and, of course, lots and lots of press coverage from it. Lots of clips making a lot of money for CNN. Viral clips, you know, on everything from TikTok, Snapchat, YouTube, Twitter, you name it. Donald knows how to develop a crowd. Whether you're a fan of Mr. Trump's politics or not, as I say, it was a big event for CNN. Now, Anderson Cooper decided to talk to his audience, basically saying that they were at their own liberty if they didn't want to watch their channel, their network again, following that particular interview. You see where this is going. The bigger problem is, you see, the bosses secretly didn't really feel the same way. And as ever, we have to say, allegedly. This is because the Donald J. Trump interview on CNN was a ratings buster for them. And that's all they care about, advertising, eyeballs, ratings, viewers. Obviously, that hasn't sunk through to the silver locks of Anderson Cooper. Now, while he's dictating to the many viewers across the United States as to whether you want to carry on watching that particular network, it didn't go down, as I say, incredibly well for the bosses out at CNN who have been struggling with massive losses of viewers, declining ratings, and more importantly, having to lay off numerous staff, particularly ahead of their latest signing, Gail King, who's coming over in the autumn or the fall, as you people call it, to host her own one-to-one -one chat show. Mm. How this develops remains to be seen, but once again, you would have to say exactly what planet are these people on when they're paid so much money? And more importantly, do you agree with Anderson Cooper or indeed, should you be left alone to your own thoughts about what you wish and what you do not want to watch on television? As ever, let me know in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.